Hi everyone, I'm Lala Bad. Welcome. If you're new here, please take the time out to subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Today I am serving up some buffalo ranch chicken pizza chicken buffalo ranch. I'm it's buffalo chicken ranch pizza. Boom. There. <laughs> Y'all wanted a voiceover? I'm giving it to you. I'm giving it to you. So I am basically um, cutting up. I I washed and rinsed, and now I'm trimming some chicken breasts, three pieces to be exact. We purchased the Great Value Walmart brand chicken breasts, uh, three pound bag, and it makes about three or four meals for us. I separate it in different Ziploc bags. That's how we do chicken. We're trying to eat a little bit cleaner, and hence the chicken breast. Uh, you could uh, you could probably make it with chicken thighs, probably, but mm, no, we 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 opt out on the dark, and we're we're opting in <laughs> on the chicken breast. Um, those trimmings, by the way, went to my dog. I did not season them. I just cooked it up, fried it up a little bit, and gave it to my dogs. They loved it. I am dicing it up. The only thing that I would do to change this recipe up are a couple of things. First thing I would do is pre-season this meat about 24 hours ahead of time. This is the reason why I do not like chicken breast. It's because it's so dry and it's so flavorless. It just it doesn't have what I need and I need lots. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm trimming off the fat and like little bones that are stuck inside the meat. Mm. This bag in particular, um, it seems like they, they're all different sizes, different thick thicknesses is that a word i don't know but i said it and uh so it's it's kind of good for us because i usually like roast the the chicken breast or stuff it or pound it out anyway so it doesn't matter all right so um how i'm seasoning the chicken is basically how i season my chicken wings with some lowry seasoned salt pepper cayenne pepper onion powder and garlic powder and i am omitting the butter in this recipe believe it or not there's no butter in this recipe I know y'all used to me um, sticking in a whole stick of butter and things, but nah. Nope. Again, we're trying to eat clean, y'all. That's that's the new uh, New Year's resolution, and I'm trying to stick to it. So, kudos to me, right? So, uh, basically, stir it up. <laughs> um, yeah. Sorry if you hear a lot of, mm, but that's me. That's just how I talk. Put that to the side. Oh, y'all would be so proud of me because I'm air frying. What? Yes, I'm air frying. Uh, you, when you air fry, though, you need that cooking spray. So be prepared to stock up on that. And it's a lot easier. You can pan fry this, and you can also roast the chicken whole if you want. But this is a lot easier. If you haven't invested in one yet, let me know, and I'll tell you where you can get one for a good price. I've seen them on AliExpress. Just... Just FYI. All right, so I'm making the sauce for the pizza. This is Great Value Ranch and Frank's Red Hot. That's the only red hot sauce I use. Uh, that's the only one allowed in my house besides uh, Valentina or Tapatio or Botanero. Is it Botanero? I don't know. Anyway, so basically it's about a quarter cup of each. And I cooked the chicken for a total of about 25 minutes. And like every 10 minutes, I would stir it up just to make sure it's getting cooked and it's like evenly cooked, basically. And I'm tossing it in some hot sauce. Now, when you make wings, you would put butter, hot sauce, and toss the hot wings in that. But no, 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 no butter for me, hunty. And, and I know it looks dry, and I agree, it was dry because this is the first time that I'm making this pizza. And I did not want to make the crust soggy because it is a thin crust. So I was really light on the sauce. But the second time that I made this pizza, the second pizza I made, I went heavy on the sauce. And it was fine. So do you, honey. Do you. Don't be scared. <laughs> Y'all wanted a voiceover. Y'all getting one. All right. So basically assemble your pizza the sauce. Oh, by the way, another thing I'm doing different is I'm putting the cheese first before I put any of the toppings because I wanted to protect that crust and I did not want a soggy bottom. You never want a soggy bottom. No, no, no. So that's what I did with the mozzarella. Again, that's a great value brand from Walmart. 
And another thing that I did that I didn't want to do was I wanted a red onion, but I forgot it. So I'm using the yellow. It's fine. And, um, you know, onion, chicken. If you wanted to put bacon in this, this that would have been good. I didn't do that. Raul really doesn't like bacon, y'all. Can you believe it? <laughs> the only pork he won't eat is bacon. And then um, jalapenos on top. And that wasn't even spicy enough for us, to be honest with y'all. I'm topping it off with Parmesan cheese instead of mozzarella because I like what Parmesan does to my pizzas. It's like a golden crust on top. So, so good. I cooked it for about a total of 15 minutes at 350. And then I raised it up to 375 for about 10 minutes. Stay near the oven. Do not leave this pizza alone because it is a thin crust if you buy a thicker crust then maybe you can go you know answer a phone call or something but but no no but, but if you're using the dollar tree crust stay close because it burns easily um but it's really crispy listen i'm sorry that raul is doing something in the kitchen he's making so much noise right now <laughs> um it, i cut it up into eight pieces i ate four raul ate four and then the second pizza, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I made the second pizza for lunch, and I, I actually ate it for lunch and then throughout the day. So, <laughs> who's eating clean now, honey? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. If you liked the voiceover, then let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know in the comments below if there are any pizzas that you want me to try, any kind of combination. I'm down. I'm down. You know that Domino's? I think it's Domino's that has a pizza that has shrimp on it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but let me know. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching.